Hello, my name is Faisal Khan. I'm doing a series on getting started with crypto and you know, I'm helping friends, family, colleagues and viewers around the world trying to understand and how to get into crypto. And this is just the basic, you know, the, the 101 kind of uh, videos that I'm making preferably in, in simple words without using any technical jargon. One of the things we keep talking about in my videos is the private key or the recovery phrases, right? So a private key uh, or the recovery phrases are extremely important. So these are, let's say, 12 recovery phrases from a wallet or the private key. If you get a hold of my private key or my recovery phrases, you have a hold of my money. Let me give you an example to sort of amplify what I mean, how important it is to secure your private key. I have here with me one Turkish lira. It's a very simple thing. It's just a coin. Could be anything. Could be a note. Could be a hundred dollar bill. Could be one rupee. This is, happens to be one Turkish lira. And here I put it on my hand. Can you take it from me? You can't, right? I mean, what a stupid question to ask. It's in my hand. I'm behind a camera. The video was shot a couple of days ago. How can you possibly take money away from my hand? You can't possibly come through the camera and snatch the money away, right? So it's very safe. It is secure. It's in my hand. But not so with the internet. Not so with the Bitcoin world. If I were to place my private key here, you could snatch that money from sitting where you are. Shall I prove it to you? I'm going to place a QR code right here. You should be able to see it. It's a private, it's my private key QR code. If you go there, I've placed one Turkish Lira and you should be able to take it right out. I will keep putting money into this thing for the next, let's say 10 days, one Turkish Lira equivalent. And I'll keep doing it every now and then maybe 25 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents. And you could be, be a viewer get your phone out, scan the private key, and boom, that money is yours. That is the power of the internet, the blockchain, the vulnerability, etc., whatever. You can snatch money from me if you know my private key. The word private key is meant to be private. It should never, ever, ever be made public. I just recently, you know, I, I in order to promote the use of crypto, I asked people to download their cryptocurrency wallet. And then, you know, give me their QR code for receiving BTC and I pushed money out to them, 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents, a dollar, what have you. And one of my banker friends just gave me his private uh, key QR code. Imagine if he had money in that, I could have just have taken all that money like this. And I told him, silly boy, that's not the right thing to do. And he's a, he's a seasoned banker, but he did it nonetheless. So this is how... Crazy it gets that even bankers don't understand the concept of public and private key. And I have to give analogies. Private, I told you, you cannot take this money from me right now because it's physically sitting in my hand. But if this was a private key, you can take all the money in my wallet from where you are. So this is why the private key should never, the recovery phases should never, ever, ever be shared online. I hope that was illuminating. I hope you will continue to check this QR code every now and then because I will be loading one Turkish Lira equivalent for the next 10 days or what have you. And one lucky, one lucky person at one point in time, and you can check the blockchain, I'll also put the, 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 rate, the thing to check the blockchain from, one lucky guy is going to win $10 because I'm going to put $10 equivalent one time only. So keep checking on this video. Keep scanning the thing. You never know. You may just end up with $10 anyways. So till then, I will hold on to my lucky Turkish Lira and you hold on to your private keys. Till next time, this is Faisal Khan signing off.